Hey, what's up, guys? Are you looking for an affordable boost pedal to make sure your solos are always heard live? This is the one. Haha, <laughs> the Le Chow. Oh, yeah. channel you hear that ha ah, that's the sound of boost man so if you're looking for something affordable um, there's lots of companies out there but I'm coming back to goop tech man Canadian company uh, out of Quebec and they make some amazing pedals so this one right here is the uh, Le Chow. they got a cat on it yeah they got some different things and this was actually a custom one that was made for me uh, with my name on the side of it Steve Ricardo and of course it's got my little beard right there Dun, dun, dun. So, which was a really cool additive to the pedal. Um, if you order this, this is still available. By all means, go get it. <coughs> Basically, to narrow it down, it's a boost pedal. Um, remember, you're playing your set. Not a lot of guys, a lot of sound guys, you know, you're gonna give them your set list and hey, uh, boost my leads here, boost my leads there kind of thing. So, with that being said, sound guys aren't gonna be able to read exactly what your set is unless you have a dedicated sound guy. So, here we go. We got a boost pedal. Um, lots of cool little uh, EQs on it to give you exactly what you want when you're getting to that point in your song where you want to have that boost. So you've got your mids, your bass, your treble, your tightness, and your boost. And of course your old school and uh, your modern so you can actually have a little bit more of a kick to it sort of thing. So let me give you two little levels. So I'm just going to play. <laughs> Add the boost. Right? Totally. So basically I've got it matched to the tone that I've cutting that I've got coming out of my uh, my head. So really simple. It just basically match to where you want. You can make your leads a little bit more different, which is always a good thing. Uh, so differentiate your tonality from your rhythm playing to your lead playing. So when you kick the pedal in, you can add more, uh, more bass, you can add more mids, um, you can tighten it more, and you can, of course, you can crank that boost. So right now I've got it pretty much at one o'clock. Um, I play a lot of metal, so I wanna be able to cut on top of the drums. I wanna be able to cut on top of the bass and just kind of lead nicely without having too much um, issues coming across, right? So, um, give you a sample of what that sounds like, guys. Cool. Switch it off. Um, of course, you're gonna have your um, your placement. Where do you put this? You can put it after the, your um, your noise gate or your noise suppression, because sometimes the noise gates and noise suppressions automatically take down some of your tone and kill a little bit of your dB. So generally, I have this pedal uh, just after um, my noise gate. That way, the noise gate doesn't affect it. So, and it gives you a nice clear boost as well as everything else. Um, they make different variety of colors for the Goop Tech for these pedals. Go online, link will always be down below. Check it out. And you can get different colors, different arrays, um, configuration of how it goes. Um, and if you want custom pedals, 
contact Goop Tech. They are fantastic for what you need. So let's just kind of get some more. You can change the songs, uh, the sounds a little bit. <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> So, do check them out. They are a great company. Simplicity Man. So, if you are looking for a boost pedal for your live playing and or studio stuff, check it out. So, hope this helped. Comment down below if you guys use Goop Tech. Tell me what you guys think. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Smash the like. You guys are awesome. Cheers.